Hey guys, so we got in the Bogies uh, stealth rack and they had just dropped it out just now. They look super big. I'm like 5'8", so you know, this is how tall this, this box is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a first impression. Oh wow, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be big, dude. Oh, it's really small. Yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and I installed the top mount for the Gobi rack. Basically what you have to do is measure this piece, the trim here, to three and three eighths. And then that's where you would mount the top mount. Pretty simple. The back is just adhesive. So once you get that mounted, then you wanna install the ladder. So I went ahead and I just put the ladder on there roughly. I did not mount it yet. So the bolt still has to go on here. And then now I gotta time that up. And, uh, and then we gotta uh, take a leveler and level the ladder to make sure that it's nice and Straight. So you got your hardware here and you need a washer and then a locking nut and then the nut goes on top just like that. I would not tighten it up yet um, because I still have to level the ladder so So I already got these off, but basically what you want to do is um, there's going to be four clips that holds it in, sorry, two clips that holds it in um, on each side. And then you just want to get one of your pry bars in there and then take it out like that one by one. And then, and then when it comes off, the back is still held on like that, so what you want to do is just push it back and then yank it up and then, then that should come right out um, and then what's left is going to be two 12 millimeter bolts and uh, that isn't too hard to take off as well and then once once both sides are taken off you can just lift this bar here right up and that should come right off the result is you would have an empty slot where it used to be um, this is one of them and basically what I did was I went ahead and I cleaned it uh, with some 3M adhesive remover and I'm prepping this to silicone around it uh, for the hardware so that it doesn't leak in water so we'll be doing that next I don't know what that is. What are you trying to do here? So we're just sealing so that the water can get in. Oh, okay. I'm using black RTV because RTV is RTV better than no RTV. The proper one is supposed to be the, the uh, marine one. Okay. All right, so now we just gotta put this first gasket on after.
So it is the very next day. Got done late last night. I didn't show how to assemble the rest because it was getting late and uh, I ran out of battery. So here's the end result. I think it looks good. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Um, one thing that I do hate about it is that I just wish that it was just a little bit longer because I know that my rooftop tent will take up about like three-fourths of the space. So I don't really have much space left to store anything. Uh, I was hoping to store some jerry cans and my Max tracks in the back. But you see that? They could have maybe, you know, bring it up to like here instead of like, you know, just hitting it there. So I guess my problem was that I should have went with um, a flat rack instead. But I mean, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Haven't used it yet. I bought it for FJ Summit. So I'll put it to good use. The ladder I thought was kind of disappointing. I didn't expect or know that I was going to be hitting um, here a lot. So basically when you step on here, uh, most likely your shoes will rub against here. here. So you need to put some 3M film strips on it or um, something to protect this so that when your shoe rubs against the clear coat, it doesn't scratch it. What's going on guys? So I, I finally got a chance to um, finish up my installation of my new suspension setup. Got new lower control arms and all that good stuff. And, and I finally had a chance to get my car aligned. It was way off. Now, now it's, it's straight as an arrow. And I finally got a chance to put on the roof rack and oops sorry the rooftop tent and so yeah it's it's been nice um, I had to put on my Philly bars again as you can see here just because I needed the clearance it was a lot easier to put on the rooftop tent uh, with these th Philly bars and then I also needed it to sit as flush to the front as possible. Like that. Because I needed the back space. This rooftop tent takes up way too much space, so that's a good benefit for me. I think I got like an extra six, seven inches of uh, space back here. I'll be using it for storage of coolers and uh, uh, storage boxes for my tools when I go overlanding so that's very beneficial but yeah, but yeah overall I'm pretty pleased I like um, the truck a lot I don't think I would have changed anything so yeah thanks for watching the Steve Yang channel and I hope to see you guys next time please don't forget to subscribe and comment thank you